Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How you doing, Frank? I am not doing good. Good. No. <laughs> Why not? I'm fucking. Hi. First of all. Hello. Good to see you. It's good. A lot to of people see you. don't know this. You start recording. I walk in and I come in here. We don't talk at all. We just we just show up and Com- sit. Completely untrue. It is very untrue. Uh, doing well, ish. Right. Because of some ish. Right. What happened? What's the ish in your life? The ish. Is- I I briefly keyed Joey in on what was going on. Um, there was. I don't know how to explain it outside of it. Like a, it might have been a crime scene. I went to arrest. You walked into a crime scene, possibly, but not like death. Like everyone, I think is okay. Big bloody scene. No blood. Legit human shit everywhere. <laughs> no example exaggeration. What would be the crime attached to this human shit bloody scene? Well, you know, a, a shit and run. Later, well, folks, that's, that's it. it. Here we go, folks. That's, that's comedy for that's you. For, that's what you Enjoy signed up for. Enjoy that. That's what you came here for, and yeah. that's what we're giving you. What happened? You went to All a right, rest so stop. yeah, on the way here, I, I drink, I drink, I try to drink fluids. You know, I want to stay hydrated because we don't need to know this far back. You went to a rest stop. Let's get uh, oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me. I drink water. We know how the body. Does works. anyone? You, you didn't. No one. Whoever wrote the you, Bible, no one told them how to tell stories, Joey. So let me fucking do how I do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that applies. Who did write the Bible? Mark and Peter and John and Luke and shit. I oh, think. the guys that put like like John three sixteen and yeah, fucking the apostles. Luke, Luke twelve oh one. I actually don't know what those numbers are. Like John three sixteen. Is it like think, chapter three, I, page I, eleven? I would assume that's what it is. It's like so if you want to find it quickly, you just go to chapter John, page three, line sixteen. No, you don't go to chapter John. You go to John, the book of John, and then you go to chapter is three. Is that a book? I thought it was. I thought of, it was Book of Genesis and the New Testament. I don't know, but there's letters too. There's letters to the Corinthians who wrote those. Whoa! Oh, from Corinthians oh, is a no, no, wild no. word to just throw out at me. The Joey. letters, the the letters of of from Saint Paul to the Corinthians. So Saint Paul, who's that? I <laughs> got I got no idea. Who there's a lot Paul of characters. I can't, yeah, but he wrote letters to the Corinthians who I don't know, but they sound like a gang of people. First of all, one. Corinthian sounds sick. It, it does, honestly it does. sounds really cool. It does. Like it sounds like an offshoot of like an X Men evil team. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like this week Professor X is going after the Corinthians. Yeah. You know because they've captured Cyclops. Which we don't know. Maybe they were enemies it's, of sort. I have no idea. I don't. I'm remember. not quite sure. Also, don't know who Sean, Saint Saint Paul. I almost called him Sean Paul. Yeah. Well, you know Sean Paul. Uh, we know Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Paul way better than Saint Paul. Probably. Sean Paul. Come cosa then. I don't know what he says, but that's what he says. Sean Paul. Come cosa then. Whatever that means. You know, you know we're, we're on board even, with it, though. He don't even care what people say. He do not even watch what they are doing. What does he say? Is he just want to stick to his guns like glue and I'm going to play number two. He, yeah, I don't know what he says. I, that I, song. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, say, I, I, I sang those words without knowing what he was saying. Yeah. Hindsight, bad idea. Right. I mean, you tried. <laughs> but The Bible is very confusing, though. There's, you would think there'd be some sort of table of contents. It'd be like, oh, I so would just, here's the book. I'm sure there have been revisions bro, made to it where they're just like, yo, if you want to read about like understanding human sacrifice and like doing good unto the neighbors and stuff like that. You go to this page. Human there's sacrifice like a, isn't in the, wait, yeah, it is. It is in the Bible. Well, there you go. Yeah, it is. Like there's gotta be like an index or something where like, it's like Jesus is mentioned on all of these pages. Right. I, I would assume most pages. Well, it's a book about Jesus, dude. It, is it about him? It's or? a book of God. I was going to say, but he's Joey, a byproduct of God. So he's, he's the main, he's the protagonist. I'll be very honest about something. That is one of the most confusing points. Who's God? Jesus or God? And no. if Jesus isn't God, what's Jesus? And if and he's if, the Son of God, you dumbass. Okay, but if he, well, why do we? He's the Lamb of God. The Lamb of, <laughs> who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. These are songs my grandma used to sing to me when I was misbehaving. She sounds like a really fucking awesome woman. She was Irish, and don't you dare. <laughs> She was tough. <laughs> she, she was only singing them out of that. She was tough. Classic Irish Catholic guilt, and you know it. Probably, maybe, but she, no, I don't think that she had a whole lot of guilt. She used to hit me with no remorse, but she did always or have Fig Newtons hit, on her. Or f- Fig Newtons? She, you know, for some reason, Fig Newtons. That was like- I eating. don't know. I don't know. I, I think- I liked them when I was young. It they're okay, like but what's that, what's that around the fig? What's that? It's like, it's like cardboard cookie. It is. It is. I don't know what it is. I'm not quite sure. If they had that with no, no like fucking fig filling. Yeah. No one's eating that shit. Well, the, yeah. Well, yeah. Duh. That's what I'm saying. The fig is everything. Fig jam. I'll beat, I, I'll beat up a fucking got, piece of shit oh, for the fig jam, dude. Take the fuck easy, okay? I love that Jesus shit. Jesus Christ. What if I wrapped a fig Newton in like a fucking fat piece of prosciutto for you? 
No. Oh, I mean, maybe, honestly, maybe. yeah. I would, I, heat it up. I would heat up the Fig Newton so it's a little runny. Hot figgies? <laughs> what the hell is figgy pudding, by the way? Everyone during we'll Christmas give is you like, some figgy, figgy pudding. pudding. I don't want you to... I, I, I am not even exaggerating. At Fingered first, pudding. I thought it was saying like finger pudding. And I'll I'm give like, it, yeah, ew. what the hell are you giving finger me Finger my here? pudding and then give it to I me? I mean, some people might be into it, not me. We were just talking about Jesus Christ. And before that, human shit. So right. we're, really, <laughs> we're really sandwiching the Lamb of God between some fucking incredible <laughs> That I don't here. get either, the Lamb of God. Ooh. Well, because he is the shepherd of the people. So he is the Lamb. You do not know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. It's crazy that there's actually still shepherds in the world. You ever think about that? There's yeah. a guy who walks around with a stick I, and he sh- and he herds the sheep. A lot. That's a pretty cool He's a shepherd, bro. You know how bad I want to herd animals. I want to just fire. like yo and just see a fucking like yeah. a wave of like goat, dude. How about training a dog to do it? Wild. What? Wild. How Wild do we thing. get them to do that? Wild thing. It's like in their blood now, too. Like their ancestors, like German shepherds, Australian shepherds. He gave like- him a job? He's like running around. He's like, hey, hey, where the fuck are you going? Yeah. How is, that, how is that not Dinner's fucking- ready. How is that not some form of fucking like, it, like put in slavery? It's like we've trained these animals from years and years and years ago to be just good at one thing. And now it's just like, that's your expectation now. I mean, I don't know. Also, bird training. And then they start doing... I don't believe in that. All these, like, fucking... It's super real. I watched that show, uh, uh, Shogun, if you haven't watched it. I only watched the first episode, and it's a lot. But it's pretty good. And, like, at one point, they train a bird to go hundreds of miles to another message, like, messenger spot. That's not... I stand by. That's not real. And And does it take breaks? Like, does it stop? But also, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you no, say, oh. dude, it's a bird. Like, we call it bird brain for a reason. These fucking dumb flying idiots with hollow bones are going to bring the most important message to a fucking samurai 300 miles away. I mean, they did. But they didn't, though. They did. Dude. I'm saying they didn't. They did. I'm, t- I'm telling you right they now. Did. Send a raven, bro. <sighs> Ravens would be pretty cool. Yeah. But I'd be terrified if I saw a giant fucking just all black bird at That's my window. Thing. How did the first person know to accept... A raven. If a bird was flying at me, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, no, I, I have a message for you. I'd and like, also, yeah, right, bird. And then also, have you ever tried to, like, get close to a bird? Fuck that. No, like, or like, like they're not doing that. And you're going to tell me I see a little scroll on their fucking dumbass dinosaur legs, and I'm going to go gonna over and just get it from them? I would think it has, like, a disease where it's growing something. Yeah. You heard about, you heard about. Also, I don't like when birds touch me. When they, when they leave their fingers, their hand, what are they called? They don't have fingers. No, they're like, their talons. Yes. The talons, when they land on you, you're like, this feels like what, have you had someone's many, biting have you. Have you had many birds land on you? No, but it feels like someone's biting your hand. Yeah, I used to have birds. That's right. You did. I remember I was but there I when like one of them it. died. Yeah. I was. It was crazy. It was like it's a It's funny because birds don't die. They're just dead. Yeah, you know? they don't like, like, oh, I'm going. It's, it's like, just like up, down. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> they're dead. They, they There's go no from dying. Dead. It's full it. of life. To none. Nothing. Like, literally life. none. You heard, about, you heard about the famous New York owl that died? Famous New York owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this famous New York owl. I, I, I don't remember his name. I'll, if you pull it up, you'll be able to pull it up. But he died, dr- like, flying into the side of a building. And he exploded, and they did an autopsy on don't him. Don't say exploded. He exploded. He didn't explode. He exploded. They did an autopsy on him, and they found that he had a severe case of pigeon herpes. Back up. A bird flies into a building, and your words, explodes. Apparently. And then someone picks it up and goes, let's find out if it did drugs. <laughs> you know, like, let's, let's run a toxicology report on it. Let's find, let's find like, out how this fucking obliterated bird died. It's like, yeah, we knew. We figured it out. Yeah, like, what do we think was going I don't on? Understand. Do we think there was some foul play going on? I, yeah, I mean, I, I may, like, maybe they were saying, like, oh, there was a severe case of, like, bird flu that oh, made okay, it go mind, crazy. That, that I can, sense. May, maybe I could see that in terms of... Listen, we we can't play safe with these fucking pandemics and bird demics and shit anymore. I agree with you. All right, but the funniest part is that it had a severe case of pigeon herpes. It was blasting all the birds, bro. Which it's the most popular bird in New York? Just fucking pigeons out yeah, here. Yeah, he's blasting the pigeons, probably. Why? It, or like ducks? No, 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 pigeon herpes. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. Now he's just crossbreeding herpes. Maybe. Damn. Can you do that? I guess. I mean, doesn't someone like koalas have like chlamydia? They say koalas have chlamydia. Yes. But like, can I get it from a koala? I assume if it's just fucking just classical chlamydia, then yeah. If it like touches me, do I get it? 
I think I don't know how that. I works. think it needs to like I need to like scratch end. you or like it, spit in my cuts or something. I guess. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not honestly sure how the transmit. You know, the transmission of chlamydia from koala, koala to human. To, yeah, goes. I don't. I'm not quite sure, but. I'm staying the fuck away from koala. I need to see if you're having if you're bringing a koala near me. Yeah. I need to see some papers that this thing is fucking koala free. Show me its last three sexual partners. Koala free. I mean chlamydia free. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. I want to see its last three sexual partners, and then I'll touch this koala. I'd probably take a little chlamydia. Koalas. I, I would take a little chlamydia just to like hold one, just to like hold it. You would take it. I wouldn't like. No, I wouldn't let it like you would bang me or anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's like, what you're saying. No, I'd be like if I could hug a koala bear. No, nah, someone's dude, like those things get, are fucking vicious. You're gonna get chlamydia. I'd be like, well, I gotta get my pills, but I'll be good. Oh, just don't, just don't, just don't. Watch are they this. Vicious, bro. You've seen their claws. Am I thinking of the right thing? You, I, I you're definitely thinking of the right thing because you're not an idiot. But koala. What's the other one that's like mad slow? Sloth. Sloths. Yeah, but I'm not thinking of that. Those no. are cool, though. They just had a new sloth. We went to an aquarium a couple weeks ago. New Yo, sloth. we're on fire right now. Well, like, we, we cannot stop we, getting to we shit are, that... We are not on cocaine. <laughs> just want to just want to put that out there. <laughs> we have never done drugs. All I have done is drink water today. Yeah, honestly, I, I have had a, a tea resin that I've had, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm fucking firing off on all cylinders. It's crazing. Uh, we yeah, had the new sloth at the an aquarium by us in Jersey. Went to see it, little baby boy. A new sloth? Yeah, like it's like a little baby got. How'd you they know? Got, like they like put. They out like a, post it. It's, it's like everyone needs to go see this new. Oh, sloth. Oh, you follow your local zoo? I don't follow it, but it's a well known <laughs> thing. It's like a it's a big time. It you was got an, an email. It was an aquarium. I think I think Becca and I saw like an alert. <laughs> <laughs> an alert, <laughs> like like a. Like people were sharing, like, "Oh, did you know? Like the fucking Point Pleasant Aquarium has a new sloth." And people were just like, "We gotta go check this shit out." Wow, checked it out. P- pretty cute. Is sloth. it? Is it cool? It's cute. It's cute. Does it have a mama and papa there? I didn't see one. It does have stuffed animals though, which means that they ripped it from its habitat. First of all, that's very weird. Imagine like the reverse: an animal put you in like a tank, and then it just like filled up. St- Stuffed dolls You'd be like The fuck Yeah I mean But also we're way smarter Than sloths So What do they know To be fair The, t- <laughs> the food chain Has established dominance And the human fucking How know, has there not been Any sort of like Evolution with them Like be quicker I mean You're so slow Be quicker I think the evolution Has probably made them slower For why Because they get away Apparently they're also Pretty vicious They've got some Fucking talent They on do them. But like I, They can't move they move very slow. That's what they do. And if they have to move faster, I'm sure they could, but they just don't. It, I saw no, one. No, I saw one on the road. It was like trying to get out of the way of a car, and it was like shit. <laughs> and then the guy like pulled over and like picked it up, and it was just like, oh, that's so sweet. It, it was, was like, awesome. thank you. If I was on the road and there was a fucking sloth in the middle of the road, and I got out and picked it up, and it just went like this, I, I don't know if I'm putting it down. Oh, you bring it home? I'm putting it in my trunk. I was gonna say you bring it home with <laughs> yeah. you. Some ca- well, classic probably, sloth napping. I'm probably just hang it over my back like a backpack. Like, hold on. Oh, that yeah. would be really cute to have a pet. But apparently, they can be pretty vicious, and I think they could also carry disease. And they shit like once a week, and it's like it takes them like minutes to poop. That sounds like women, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be. Our quickest, most rapid fire on fucking point episode that we've ever had. So oh sit down, God. buckle up, strap in. The boys Think about are- it though. Women can be vicious sometimes. Also, hey dude, I am not comparing women to a uh, an animal I just I'm not basically saying, referred to as an idiot. I'm not saying that they're like sloths. You're I'm saying, saying that the things that you just can be like women. I said no. With things you can can you just described can sound like women. That they're vicious, that they only shit like once a week or whatever. I, yeah. wish, I don't know what that's about, but women aren't shitting and there's a, an epidemic. That's society, that. babe. That's, I big, don't get that's that. big That's big society telling I don't women understand. not to. That's what it is. So like, women have been trapped in the fucking prison of bowel movements and big society, big business, big toilet is just like these toilets are made for men asses, not fucking female butts. Well, no, they're allowed to shit, but they don't for some reason. Because society. Frankie, you don't have to do this. I'm every doing single it. Time. Trying so hard not to be canceled. <laughs> I'm not trying not to be canceled. I'm trying. I'm obviously, Joe. Don't. I just. I just. Yeah. Don't. don't. That's what you sound like. I'm just letting you know. Do not. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're a victim of big fucking poop. Big poop is telling women not for you, bitch. Now they're pooping. But speaking of, so I was at the rest stop. We're back here. Oh, we're back to the rest stop. Human shit Thank everywhere. God. I walk in and there are. What's pe- everywhere though? 
Also, the stall or the bathroom? The bathroom? The whole room. Out of the bathroom to the parking lot. Okay, time out. You followed a trail of shit into I, uh, a door. Well, let's... Hold on. Hold on. I didn't see the trail of shit until I already got in the door. So then I got in the door and I look on the floor. I'm like, whoa. And someone says, like, look out. When you have to... When you have to warn someone... Like, when you have to fucking... Like, like it's a... Like, there's a stampeding animal. Like, get out of the way of the fucking fecal matter all over the floor. That's a problem. So there was a trail. Was and then... And it was like... It was like foot... Not footprints, but like shoe prints. Right. Well, so then I followed it. And it went into the bathroom, and then it was everywhere, brother. Walls? W uh, like, the the base of walls. Like, <laughs> in the middle of the floor and up the base. I shouldn't say all of them, but, like, up the base of, like, one of the walls. So there was a leaky butt going on. But here's the thing. It wasn't a leaky butt. It was, like, well-formed dump. That's it, it wasn't, like, Squirty McGee. It was fucking, like... <laughs> It was like, like dump shit. You know what I'm talking about? It was like dump shit? It was dump. Okay. Now I'm very confused. And here's the most confusing part. It was coming from the stall. So someone started to so take So someone, a something happened. Someone was doing two. Someone was doing two. And then was like, I gotta leave. Yes. And then left and while then doing. While two. But here's the thing. What were they wearing? That two was able to make its way onto the floor. Either nothing or assless chaps. This is a c very confusing situation that we need to get to the bottom <sighs> I'm of. I'm so confused. And so then I'm like, well, so I still pee. I fucking, you know, like fucking hopscotch my way into the bathroom because I got to go. But it was like in a stall, right? No, brother. So wait, where did this? this all right. So uh, where did the trail all stop? All right. So, so you walk into the bathroom. Yeah. Straight ahead of you. T sinks on both sides. Okay. Then you then there's it goes further back. Left side stalls, right side urines. Right side or well, Ur opposite. Left side urinals, right side stalls. Okay. Okay? It was coming from a stall in all the way out to where the sinks are, out the fucking door of the bathroom. But it wasn't wet. It wasn't It like was fully formed dump. So it was just log after log. But it was stepped in log. I just can't crack this case. I, neither can I. I don't know what's going and then on. After I pee and wash my hands and everything, I obviously... What does it smell like? Give me a smell. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't obvious? This wasn't clear? <laughs> just fucking classic American shit, brother. <laughs> American shit. Okay. So then I'm no. like, all right, I got to see how far this goes. It went to the <laughs> parking lot. Did you find a car? I did. It stopped like where the parking lot and the sh and like the sidewalk meet. That's and then, bananas. And then it was, but it was fresh. Like it had happened maybe a minute before I got there. No way. I'm telling you, because they were in the middle of cleaning up, and this fucking listen. There was someone cleaning. Multiple people cleaning, dude. So this is what oh, you don't it was understand. Like a three this is what you job. don't understand. This is what you don't understand. Okay. As someone that has worked in the uh, retail industry, I guess the, you, technically the rest stop is like a retail spot. You can't just like Clorox, like, you know, fucking go and just like wipe down like an unknown substance. Of course, you knew it was shit in this point, but like bodily functions. You need to take like proper precaution. And like sometimes the reason I called it a fucking possible crime scene is you need to like zone it off as like a possible <laughs> containment center. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone slips and falls in your bathroom on a line of <laughs> shit. I am it's a big suit job. An immediate millionaire, okay? Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an immediate chameleonaire. <laughs> Don't you dare talk shit about chameleonaire, okay? I love chameleonaire. I do too. Let's invite him to the Houston show. You know what's funny? He looks like a comedian sometimes. When I see, when I look at him, I go, I think I see a chameleon, and I see a millionaire. I see what he did. I'm picking up what you're putting down, but also I'm gonna be a little careful and not touch that one. Uh, I think we should invite him, Chameleon Air? to the Houston show. Is he? Oh, he's from H Town. Yeah. He is from H Town. I wonder if he's still riding dirty. Uh, I feel like once you start riding dirty, it's pretty hard to stop. Mm. You it's, know, it's like Pringles. 
It, he's like <laughs> Pringles, Joey. He's like a very like successful investor. And in like, I saw someone. It was a picture of him like on the floor at a Rockets game, and they were just like, "What the fuck is this washed up loser doing there? Get him off here!" And people were like, "He's made multi millions of dollars investing yeah. in like fucking Silicon Valley." And he was riding dirty, bro. That song was fire. Not only was the song fire, the fucking remix with Papoose. <laughs> Woo! Don't get me started. Papoose, Papoose, that's who pets. Oh my god, I'll fucking, I'll do it, bitch. Don't fucking get me started. I don't want to. But uh, yeah, so you hear that? Yeah. I what was that? Me. I don't know. I have no idea. You think they're spanking a med out there? No. What? Jesus. Huh? No. Um, but that is, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So I mean, but eventually you were like, all right, I'm leaving the scene. Yeah. I'm I've, fleeing the scene. I stopped caring. I will say this though. How are they cleaning it? Mops. Thank you so much for leading me into my next point. This is real synergy here, baby. Okay. That's the first time you use that correctly. Good bu- good goodbye. Good said, boy. <laughs> no, I said goodbye. Okay. <laughs> it was done. First time you use it correctly. Goodbye. And the last. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, babe. <laughs> I saw one of the people going to clean it up and put a mop over like one of the larger pieces of shit. No. I swear to God. Throw the mop. And mopped. And then picked it up and went, oh. <laughs> what do you expect? And then I saw another one picking up one with like, you know, grandparents, how they do like they crumple the piece of like tissue paper, or not tissue paper, like napkin or something in between their hand and then they pick stuff up with it like that. He was picking up human shit with his hand? With a piece of, with a paper towel. But like, you know, when people like take a paper towel and they use it to like pick something yes. up like that, that's how he was picking it up. Like it was fucking normal. Like, this like is human the- shit here. This isn't normal fucking. Yeah. You're not picking up a roach. You need, <laughs> you need to approach with caution. You don't know what the hell's in this thing. Ew. Yeah. It was- I would never, I, I literally would, would never do that. If my boss asked me like, yo, you got to clean it. I'd be like, good luck. Find someone else. Cause yeah. I'm quitting. Well, well, it was these people's jobs to clean it up. So, you know, I, I guess they didn't have a choice. Oh, they were janitors. Yes. Well, you think it was just like normal good Samaritans cleaning up the no, human I, shit in a New Jersey restroom? No, I think a New Jersey like rest stop, like you probably wear multiple hats. So you like do the, the cashier or whatever. And then at the end of the day, you like maybe mop some shit. I don't know. If you, if I get hired and they're like, you just need to just kind of check people out when they want to buy some fucking bags of chips, drinks, and the occasional Twix bar. And they said, oh, also small asterisk, you might... Need to clean up human waste. <laughs> a shit surprise. I would be like, honestly, thank you for your time. I am leaving here quicker than I got here. That's wild, dude. Yeah. And I, was, I mean, speaking of like that, I mean, I had a dream last night that I actually slept really well last night. Oh, good for you. Uh, but I had a dream that felt so real that I threw up in my bed. Oh. But like, I, I it like, st- like I like, <laughs> but I threw up under my blanket. Uh, oh. So like, I like. Do you throw? Well, there's a good question. What do you throw? If you throw up on your bed, over blankets, under blankies. What am I gonna fucking? <laughs> no, I'm gonna fucking just throw up. I'll probably throw up on the side of the bed. Okay, all right. I would but, throw up on the bed. By like the way, if the... you have a king, do you sleep on a side or do you sleep in the middle? I sleep. Uh, we have a king. Um, but you're with a person. I'm saying by yourself. I had a king when by myself when I was in college. I shouldn't say college, grad school. Dude, I literally, I'm asking you what side you sleep on. I don't give a fuck where you went. The middle. I slept in the middle. Did you really? I slept in the middle. Yeah. That's weird to me. Why? I don't know. I feel like I need to be close to like a nightstand. I mean, th- don't get me wrong. Shut yes, away. that is a great point. Is that my phone would be charging and it would be on the bed with me. So there were times I'd roll over and like it would unplug the phone. That's dangerous. Is it? Yeah, because if it like heats up or it gets too hot or something, you could start a fire. Then you're dead in your bed. I would be able to tell if my hot phone was sandwiched between my fucking Sometimes gut. they explode. <laughs> and, and my fucking Jersey sheets that I had at the time. Jer- you had New Jersey bed sheets. Joey, let's be very clear about something. You think I had New Jersey bed sheets? You just said that. Jersey. Not New Jersey. Oh. Like my bed sheets were baseball jerseys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just almost had a heart attack, dude. You you would though. Ew, look at your tongue, dude. I you almost you would be the one to be like, oh, I'm going to Frank uh, Frankie's apartment for the first time. You're tw- you're 25 years old and you walk in, Batman pillow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that I will say yes. However, and your bed sheets and you take the blanket off and, you're, and it looks like your bed's wearing a bat belt, like the Batman belt. <laughs> 
up, dude? <laughs> no, no, no. They were. It was a type of fabric. It was known as jersey. They were big, like um, you know, like in like college towns, because they were just like they'd sell them in that bundle that came in a bag, and then you just like open it, and it's like, oh, you got fitting sheet, loose sheet, blah blah blah. Mm. Yeah, they were called jersey. They were very go. soft. I thought you had New Jersey. Bro, if I, could you imagine? <laughs> That's horrible. I will say this, though. While living in Connecticut. I will say this. I still have uh, sheets from when I was a kid. I don't, I don't use them except for a one pillow that's in the house. You have your bed sheets as a child? Not my bed sheets, the pillowcase, I should say. You have pillowcases from when you were a, a child. A pillowcase from when I was a child, yeah. Oh, but you said you have, you have like a bunch? No, just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Do you yeah, know which one it was? It was sick. And I know you love this because I think you had them too. What? It was the Space Jam ones that one side were the Monstars and then you flip over to the other side of the pillow and it was the, you know. Toon Squad. The Toon Squad. That's, that's so still, sick. And like it's the that. original. We have some sponsors that we have to get to today. The first one being Liquid IV. I just popped one this morning. After the gym, I like to throw it in. Boom. Get some nice, you know, vitamins and minerals right in my body. Uh, real quick, but uh, if you don't know what Liquid IV is, basically they come in this, uh, they're like a little packet, right? And you rip it open, it's a powder, you put it in a glass of water, 16 ounces, you stir it up. It tastes amazing, they have lovely flavors, they have uh, sugar-free green grape, strawberry lemonade, they have a bunch of stuff. The one I had today was watermelon, it is phenomenal, okay? It's like having some candy, honestly, but it's actually good for you. Um, but it's going to hydrate you uh, quicker than water is going to be. It has three times the electrolytes as the leading sports drinks that you know and love, uh, but you shouldn't. Uh, but it's got four delicious sugar-free flavors now. We have white peach, green grape, raspberry melon, and lemon lime, okay? It's a zero sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners, clinically tested to hydrate more than water alone, okay? So I usually do this, like I try to be good about my water intake, but when I feel like I'm a little behind, then in the morning I'll throw a liquid IV, boom, get myself back to like an even keel, and then you know start drinking water again. Um, so it's good. And uh, if you want to pick up some liquid IV, you can do so uh, at liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. You will get 20% off. Okay, that is 20% off uh, of your first order when you shop at our hydration today. And the promo code is basement. All right, so go to liquidiv.com, use that promo code basement, get 20% off of your order. And enjoy, folks. I'm telling you right now, they are a delicious. Uh, we also have Babbel. Um, you know, one in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list. Here's how you're going to do it, folks, with Babbel. All right? This is the best way to do it. It's a lot of fun. I did a lot of Babbel during the uh, pandemic, trying to figure out things to do. And I was like, let's brush up on the Spanish. Okay? Um, but if you want to learn a new language, uh, Babbel is the way to go. Uh, basically, they've like gamified the experience. So if you want to learn a new language, and it's actually conversational. So it's not just like you're just learning words. You're actually learning slogans and, you know, uh, not slogans. You're learning um, like actual senses that you can use when you go visit these countries that are, uh, this is like their native language. Um, so it's nice. It's uh, designed by real people for real conversations. Uh, has over 16 million subscriptions sold. Plus, all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. They talk the talk and they walk the walk. Um, but here's a special limited-time deal for our listeners right now. You can get up to 60% off your Babbel subscription, uh, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. Okay, so go to babbel.com slash basement to get that. Uh, enjoy that. 60% off. Okay, babbel.com slash basement, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L. Uh, dot com slash basement rules and restrictions may apply and listen baby i'm going to tell you this right now the universal language is two things love and comedy and what are laughs going to give you a lot of good times over at patreon.com slash the basement yard every single week i tell you about it i hate repeating myself i'm kidding i like it a little bit go to patreon.com slash the basement yard and check out the page go see dip your toe in there see if the water is warm enough to you to dive right the fuck in okay because you join that first year you get these weekly episodes seven whole days in advance that's right you get the clips the laughs the stupidity mostly Joey kind of gaslighting me, yelling at me, making me say things and feel things that I didn't know were humanly possible and angry. And you could get those one week of advance for that first tier. And then that second tier, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday, 7 a.m., like clockwork, baby, okay? Unless something happens where one of us are sick or whatever. But you can go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you so much. We broke 30,000, which is legitimately astronomically insane. We cannot even begin to express how grateful and appreciative we are. So thank you guys from the bottom of our cold black hearts. All right, so thank you. And also go check out thebasementyard.com. Folks, we announced, we did it. We did it. The Basement Yard 
<laughs> experience shows. We announced them the next day. The tickets went on sale. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we sold out some of them in literally mere minutes. But guess what? Because of some of those sellouts, we added two more shows. By the time you see this, maybe those shows are no longer available. I'm sorry. But Toronto and L.A., and people are like, oh, dude. There's a lot of moving pieces that we, we don't necessarily have control over. So go check it out. Thank you so much. Keep your eyes peeled. Go to thebasementyard.com. Check out the Patreon link. Check out the merch link. Check out the show links. We still have tickets available, possibly in the Texas shows. So if you're looking to make a weekend, go get some barbecues. Go check it out, all right? Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Jover to you, Jove. Did you call me Jove? See, I, I, was, I was literally batting a 1,000 until that last sentence. And then you said Jove. Jove is okay. It's not my name. It's okay. It's not. You call me things that are not my name all the time. Like? Do you really want to do this? Yes. Piece of shit brown man. <laughs> Piece of shit brown Fat man. Fat loser. Go ahead. Keep projecting. <laughs> what else you got? Don't. Don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Uh, Joey, I don't know if you saw this. Mm -hmm. Back on the market. Our girl... Gypsy Rose. She's not back on the market. Well, that's right. She was for a fucking... She was She was almost as available as the fucking Basement Yard Toronto shows. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, um, I am... Oh, no. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the story coming out, obviously, we don't want to delve too much into personal people's lives, but guess what? We're Gonna. going to. Yeah, not to. I mean, you what? know what? That's a good point. Should we not? <laughs> well... All right, let's just pivot then. Hot dog water. No, no, no. All I'm right. down. All right. Do it. Okay. With well, respect. Just, with respect. With respect. We're full. We're on Team Gypsy. I think. We're, we're. I. I listen. I am all about Gypsy Rose. You have been a huge fan of hers since 2012, around that time. I don't even know what that means. Um. So, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh. We obviously don't want to be disrespectful because this, this is a private matter for them. Things happen to people, yeah. but we are going to say that. I mean, they posted about it. They so posted I, about it. I feel like we can talk about it if they're posting about it. That's correct. Although the D was fire, they are no longer together. The D, the, the fire has burnt the out. Fire, the fire is no more. She was with a guy, Gypsy Rose, she was with a guy. I think they were engaged or she's married to him I think or she something. was married. And she said the D was fire, but it sounds, but it looks like the D has burnt out because now she's fully reconnected with her ex. The but be very specific. The one that's not in prison for life for murder. A different ex. A different, one of one of. There's a big distinction between some of her yeah, exes. One of them has killed a person, and the other one, as far as we know, hasn't. No murder. But looks like he would do it. I mean, um, uh, that was probably a. Mean that was thing that to was say. not nice. And they did get matching tattoos on their arms. Very sweet. Of a bird. Unicorns. Oh. Oh, I don't know. What's, I saw a unicorn. Technically, a unicorn is just a bird with a horn. It's a horse. <laughs> no, well, don't they have wings? That's a Pegasus. I'm all over, baby. <laughs> I'm fucked up. No, yeah. But she, uh, you know, she said the D was fire, and it, I'm sure it was. Now she's got a new fire D. You know, and uh, we, Back wish, the X. we wish her obviously well. You know, I mean, she, she didn't leave herself on the market because that dating show would have been immediately picked up by fucking Discovery or someone out there, whatever they're called now, Max. They would have picked up what was the name of you know, what was the the name of the the, the reality dating show for? Because we had Rose? Flavor of Love with Flavor Flav. Oh. We had Rock of Love. Uh, well, who's dying to be with Gypsy Rose? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Every rose has her thorns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I like that. Locking like down Gypsy. Locking down the gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, those are tough. Locking down to I mean, yeah, no, I mean it would have been a great dating show. I would have tuned in. That's oh, for sure. Yeah. I a hundred percent. We're just happy that someone found love. Because at we, the end of the day, we no love, love what goes on. We don't know if the D was actually fire or maybe it was, wasn't a fire. Maybe it was a little complicated D. Yeah, maybe on. maybe at the time the D, you know, like when something is hot. You only know it in context of what it is. Hot. But then when you feel other hot, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's that, way, that hotter than, way hotter than, than the that. thing that I thought was hot originally. Exactly. And like things happen behind the scenes. We're not judging. We have no idea. We're just happy to see that people are seemingly happy. We want to put out there into the world for anyone that may or may not listen to this. Right. All we want is for happiness and love to prevail. Right. 
And if that is happening to Gypsy Rose... Who am I to say that she shouldn't be with her ex? I am no one to say that. Matching bird tat. Absolutely. Unicorn or bird? Did we land on that? I'll, I'll do you one better. I don't care. Right. You know, but... <laughs> matching tatties. If you're getting matching tatties with a person and, you, and you're in love right now, support. We just, we want her to be happy. She has a second lease on life after being released from prison. And she's trying... What? <laughs> she's trying to just be happy and live it up. And we support that. We're happy for you, Gypsy Rose. All the people that are going to start talking shit. Yeah. You know. She's living it up. That's it. You know? For all the people that be living it up, I say... What? Do I do? Giving it up. Huh? Uh, I knew. I knew. it up. Huh? <laughs> Ja Rule, bro. I don't know any of the lyrics of that song, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm a typical I'm a blue. Chill out. I love how we just were, we were like convinced Ja Rule was good at being a musician when he would just scream at us for fucking a minute and a half on every song he would. <laughs> ah! Yeah. And then the real Ja Rule came out when Fire Festival. Bro, embarrassing for him. Fire Festival? The Fire Festival documentaries that came out, neither painted him in any good uh, It was any a, good a good idea life. for a, for a, <laughs> a show. Honestly, that dude, I saw an interview with him recently. He has to like pay back like all this money. Yeah, I think it was, was it Theo Vaughn or somebody else? They were like, what would happen if I gave you $30 million right now? And I told you to double it. And he goes, honestly, probably blow it in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Which wh that's what I'm talking about. Self-awareness. Yeah. Good, good on him. She's so, like, I would try to figure it out, but I, I most likely blow well, it. Well, speaking of investors and great, incredible opportunities, Joey. Well, I have an opportunity for you. For me? I know how into self-care and bettering yourself you are. And there is a boot camp that... Oh, my God. I, I was like, where is he going with this? I think you really should start looking into. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen, there is an alpha male boot camp mm -hmm. that is... And it's cheap, right? Only $18,000. For how long? I believe it's a couple days. Cheap. And uh, uh, it's out there if you guys uh, want to be involved in it. If you want to be more alpha and like a fully grown male. Yeah. Do you know, if you really want to just like kind of get in touch with your primal apex pet predator. Like right. Who is in there for you? And you need to bring them out. And you need to pay to have that brought out. And you need to be an apex predator. Because this is a dog eat dog world. And you need to make 400k a month. And yeah, <laughs> and quite frankly, you need to just really hate women. Yeah. If they hit you, <laughs> don't, Joey. I'm not gonna say don't, that. Don't, don't, don't. I'm trying to play the part. I know. Do we? Do you do it or do I do it? Do I do what? Do we talk about like? What are you talking about? This alpha male boot camp. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, it's kind of wow. The videos that I've seen, it's just like these dudes who desperately. I feel bad for them. Because it feels like I this. I feel no fucking remorse for these I, fucking ingbreds. I do feel. <laughs> you're so mean. I'm sorry. I don't. If you're willingly signing up for I this agree. shit, like, I agree. You deserve every piece of ridicule that's coming your way. I agree to Unless some extent. you're doing it as, like, a, I'm going to fucking expose this for the possible fucking fraud scam that it is. I, yeah, I don't know that it's, like, you know, $18,000 for like four days is kind of insane. Oh, did you have a question? I do have a question. What qualifications make someone a good teacher of alpha malism? Um, if they're just cool. How many? All right, I'm going to ask you serious questions here. I'm just going to. Do you want me to me to be serious? I'm, I'm going to breeze through some some possible qualifications, and you let me know. Okay. If these would get me hired or not. Where I as a as a alpha male trainer. Oh. Okay. I own three tap out T-shirts. Do you want me to answer honestly? Yeah. No. Oh. How many do you need in order to be a quality alpha male? <laughs> Hopefully none, dude. That's a rough one. Okay. Tap All right. Out. I have a truck that has a bumper sticker that says, don't tread on me. Yeah. I mean, I th yeah. <laughs> There's probably a high percentage of those. Yeah. That oh, yeah. Exist. Or that just says alpha male on the thing. But here's the thing. The reason why I'm like, I, I, like, I get what you're saying that like these dudes who are in this program are like, all right, you guys are cl like, you know, you're clowns for this, blah, blah, blah. But to me, the way that I look at it is that these dudes are so... They're being manipulated. They're no, a victim of, of course, the but system, like, too. Sure. They're, they're just so desperate 
at a certain point that they're saving all this money to do this thing. And it's like, like I can't help but feel like you're just taking advantage of someone who's in a very vulnerable position. Charging them 18000 Like, if you want to do that, and like, if, if even if that helps some people, like, great. But like, yo, $18,000 for that is kind of insane. That's all I'm saying. It, it's, it's an absolute, it, it's insane. So, and, and now they're, they're, by the way, they're popping up more frequently now. One of them here on the website They line says, them up and just spray them with a hose and shit. It's like. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, yeah. I saw one where it's like the guy, the teacher, the fucking, uh, I, I don't know what what would you call the fucking instructor was just like get in push up position and they're like you know how like the services like the fucking they'll like shout something back as like a positive affirmation like yes like sir yes sir yeah. or you know theirs was kill 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 huh. so it was like push up position they're like kill and they got into fucking push ups it, it, it's it's listen Free market, capitalism, you could, we could say whatever we want about it. If you feel so inclined to make this stuff and you're making money for it, I guess good on you. But if you sign up for this, what has happened to you? Like, what is going on that you've... And also, not even just that. Seriously. Serious question. I'm going to stop trying to be funny here for a single <laughs> second. Okay. Okay? I know I'm. it just oozes funny out of my bones here. Yeah. What are you hoping for to get out of this? That's my serious question because a lot of these alpha maleisms are rooted classically in fucking like American misogyny. I will I will say this. So like what are you literally what are you trying to get? I I think that you like I think what they're paying for is to be broken down, which I do think is helpful. I do think it's helpful to like get your ass whooped like every day. Heard it here first, folks. Joey about are you one of the Fucking investors here. Here we go. This guy. No, but I do think it is. I I think that that is like think something that's really hard to do. Like you, I don't know. You it changes some some things. Like these dudes, maybe they feel like I've never done anything in my life. I've never completed anything. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna pay all this money to get my ass whooped and screamed at and like psychologically broken, and then I'll find myself after that. Maybe you will, but I don't know that you will. And I, it's just sad that it's it's come to that, and I can't help but be upset about that because I think that the dudes who are running the organization, it's like you're you're just capitalizing on people who are in vulnerable positions when you shouldn't do that. I think uh, so. Like, I think that's maybe what people think they're getting out of it. It's some form of like therapy in a way. Listen, I I I am not gonna sit here and talk shit about like the self help fucking. I just line of work like, because like people have made money off it and it does work for some people. But what I'm saying here is that when you look at like a lot of the websites, they use jargon, like shatter your, your, uh, fucking insecurities and shit like that. And it's like, they're not trying to fix the problem. They're trying to just fucking throw in other shit on top of it to minimize any touch with reality people will have and like i said this whole like alpha male fucking wave if we look at it i know we've joked with like frankie skins and shit like that but like it's fucking rooted in like like fucking no women will tell you what to do you are a man you are an alpha and it's just like exactly like you're you're what are you trying to say you want to do here you want to get better at just being a fucking misogynist piece of shit to a degree i mean it depends i mean i don't know like why are you defending the alpha males? No one's here, defending Joey. anyone. I have a different opinion than you. Fuck off, bitch. I'm not. I'm not. Def I'm not saying that that's the way to go. What I'm saying is like the alpha male thing. I think that is just. It, of, co of course, it's like these people now. They all look the same. Like these aren't like quote unquote alpha males. Like what you should be as a man or whatever the fuck. Like all of them think that if you talk in a certain way and say the f word a lot and then wear a suit on Instagram. Like, now you're an alpha male. Like, you're all peacocking and you all look the same. So that, to me, is like, you're not even being authentic. You're just, like, trying to be, like, the dude who you saw that you're, like, got horny for. Because you're like, oh, that's what a real man looks like. So I'm going to dress like him and I'm going to talk like him. But it doesn't change who you are as a person. And neither will getting sprayed with a hose. That won't change it either. I saw one where it was, like, guys were laying on their back crawling across a railroad track. And it's, like, this is the peak of... Like, this is why the earth is going to implode in 50 years and we're all going to die. <laughs> I don't, my biggest thing is, like, I don't understand why dudes, like, who are, because I, like, 
not that I consider my, I'm such an alpha male, but like, I, I don't think that I'm not like, I don't think that anyone's like, yo, yo, but like, I'm also, well, you are, you are a bit of boy, a boy, a beta boy, soy boy, beta cuck. Well, like a lot of people, I mean, I don't think that like no one's, I haven't heard anyone say that to be honest, but like, I, like, <laughs> I feel like those type of people, like, I'm not like that, but like, I also just don't get why people feel like someone should be like this or like, they're like everyone, oh, the guys need to be like this or like you know, men are like soft now. It's like, what, but what does that do f to you? You know what I mean? Like if it was just all the way that you wanted it, like what, what would that even I'll tell look you exactly, like? I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's as the world has changed and, and certain parts of the world have become more progressive to include more people. People are finding themselves more and more insecure about the fact that they are unable to be at the fucking top of the food chain because Joey, let's, let's be honest. All these videos about these alpha boot camps. Who, who, who is it? It's your fucking people. It's whites. So what happens? Why are you making this like a racial? I'm not making it a race thing, but I'm saying that. Justin. No. Well, yeah. All right. Maybe. But I'm saying a lot of it now is people are insecure because as the world is evolving around them. So someone fucking says something stupid. It's like, no, reestablish your dominance in the fucking pecking order and do it by fucking rubbing your feet with a pumice stone. And it's like, what's going on? You know? Yeah. I, I think that dudes are just like, there's a lot of guys that feel alienated because of social media. And it's like, I need to be like this. I need to be like that. And like, these people are like characters. Like even like fucking Dan Bilzerian will have heard him say in interviews, like, what he's doing on Instagram, it's not that it's, that's not what he does or whatever, but it's like an exaggerated version. It's clearly like a persona or whatever to sell something. He had a company that he was building the entire time. So it's like, it's that's not authentic, but people see that and be like, I need to be that. So I'll just like act like that, even though it's not me. And then it's like, then I'll, I'll, I have to teach other people. And like, now I'm starting a business. Like it's all a fucking money thing. Like it's all a fucking scam. People just pretending to be like, and using the same language and wearing the colored uh, sunglasses so that they can sell something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's all about money at the end of the day. These dudes don't care about people need to be more alpha. This is so I could help people like as a dating yeah, coach. Yeah, just want to get money. It's just money, bro. It's just, it's just money. It's not that deep. It's not about you trying to change the landscape of men in, in the modern time. Like you're just, it's just money that you're after and that's it. And it's like, I, as a person who I'm, I consider myself, like, I think I'm like an alpha dude and like, I'm in whatever the fuck. But see, but that's, that's the thing. But is I that, don't care to but, make, but not only that, but not that. only that, you, that's, that is a fucking like, you're trying to put a label on something when that label is just in itself fucking stupid. And it's like, I, I think I'm an alpha. No, you're, you're fucking just be an adult. No, just grow up. Yeah, just grow up and figure it out, man. Go home, play with some toys, you know, whatever you want to do. I don't know. I mean, well, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, grab a Megazord, be an adult, <laughs> collect tea, you know, <laughs> the classic stuff. The real, the real <laughs> alpha males do Joey. Be a man, be a cute, eat a cucumber in two bites. Relax. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. If we were to open up a basement yard school for alpha maleism, what would be like one of your like classes? Frankie, what, how am I supposed to even answer a question <laughs> like that? One, no. Also, alpha maleism. Joey would be like, you know what? Honestly, it would be like crying 101 and like how good it feels to cry. It does, but also that's you, bitch. That's how you become an alpha male. Right? That is. You, you have cry. to be broken down. You gotta be. Yeah, you, gotta you need to be. You need to be in like a fucking weeping state. If at the end of the first Joe Santagato class for alpha males, you need to be crying in the corner in the fetal position. Yes. And then yes. the rest of your life is in front of you. I honestly believe that actually. What I was saying with the, I, with the breaking down thing is like, but that's the thing. Like, like men are so like, uh, they're afraid to be vulnerable because they think like it's like feminine or some shit. But that's like, that's why it's like no to therapy is because I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to, you know, do this or whatever the fuck. And like crying is gay and like all this <laughs> stuff. But then like at the same time, they're like, oh, we'll be vulnerable in this way. in like, like these dudes showing up to this thing and like you're getting sprayed with a hose. You're getting like emasculated by yeah, another yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, so you'll come be here, pig. You'll be, a, <laughs> you can, like, so you do you not understand like being vulnerable and doing something very hard is rewarding. Like, yeah, exactly. Listen, if I, I was making fun of the people that do this and I will do, continue to do that because I, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something ins insanely funny about it. But also like you're basically doing what it is, what it takes to be a better person, but you just don't need to go and do it in such a stupid hyper masculine way. Like, yeah, you want to get, you want to be more in touch and broken down and fucking feel vulnerable. Do it with talking to someone that maybe has been a licensed therapist. Do it, you know, with expressing yourselves. Do it with something that you maybe didn't know that you like, like fucking painting or, or you know, like. Yeah. 
You can Playing do with both. Megazords or something like yeah, that. Something. Along those Megazords, lines. Batman. I can keep going. <laughs> X Men. I don't know. <laughs> like it could. Be, that's what I'm saying though. But you could. It could be anything. But I feel like people are too focused on like I have to do the exact thing that someone else is doing. So when these dudes are like at the gym and like going crazy about that, it's like I'm not saying you shouldn't go to the gym. I go to the gym. I love it. I think that it's very helpful for your mental health. But I also go to therapy. I've also cried in therapy. I also, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not afraid to do those things either. I think that's when you kind of, like, learn about yourself. That's why I was saying before, like, things that are hard, really hard, and, like, break you down, and you're just like, fuck, like, I didn't, or you didn't know you could take it this far or whatever the fuck, like, you find yourself in those moments. So if you can be vulnerable, like, if you go through a fucking boot camp or something and at the end of that it's like yes that's extremely rewarding because it's extremely difficult and now i'm this person i'm i was able to like lose a bunch of weight get through boot camp i'm in amazing shape and now i'm servicing my country like that's amazing you can like so just that concept of doing something really hard and then and be make yourself vulnerable for something very rewarding you could also do that emotionally through something like therapy or just like it doesn't have to be like therapy but just like being open to the fact that like it's okay to be vulnerable bro because on the other end of that is something rewarding Balance, baby. Kind of crushed that, honestly. Kind of crushed it. Just saying. Brought to you by a man in a backwards baseball cap with a fucking sweatshirt who has the sleeves. That's what I'm up. saying. I look like, you know what I'm saying? I you do. Look, Absolutely. You I do. look like I you should do. have oh, that yes, opinion, you but do. I got the opinion. Well, we do also have some sponsors. Not only that, but speaking of making money, <laughs> we have prize picks. Okay? Prize picks. March is over, but it doesn't matter. We still got baseball. We still got basketball. Okay, we still got hockey and stuff like that. Price picks is a lot of fun. Uh, you're going to go on. You're going to make some lineups, okay? So in basketball, you're like, well, I was just about to say Julius Randle, but I just got news that he got hurt. Not I just got news. It is news. Um, but he, he's, he's out. But if Julius Randle was playing, uh, you'd say, is he going to have more or less than 18 and a half points? Something like that. Um, and you do that a couple times with a bunch of different players, and then you can win up to 25 times your money. You can win up to 100 times your money. Uh, it's... It's amazing, okay? Uh, you can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries today on prize picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, okay? And I play it. My friends play it. They love it. Um, and you can download the app today and use the code BASEMENT for a first deposit match up to $100. So if you put $100 in, they're going to match that. They're going to put $100 in, and it's up to that. So you put $20, they will put $20. You'll have $40 to play. Boom. Uh, you'll be good to go. But you download the app to get today, uh, prize picks, and use the code BASEMENT for that first deposit match up to $100, all right? Go play. Go have fun, all right? <laughs> I'm loving the matching. By you the do, way. right? I am yeah. a very matchy boy. Are you? I am. I, 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 I. Not all the time. What the hell does that mean? Sometimes you come in here and it's like a gray sweatpant, a red T-shirt, and then you got like a, I don't know, like a jacket. That's no. I always try to match my top to my hat. Your top? My top. I absolutely do. <laughs> Your shirt? You maybe. How about this? Maybe buy a couple more baseball hats because you've worn that hat more than I've seen you wear a Yankee hat in your entire life. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Untrue. Absolutely. What's going on with my voice right now? Uh-oh. This is what happens. He gets The stuck. devil's coming out of me. Joey, I know we're, we're about to wrap up here, but I don't know if you saw. We got tagged in this about 450 fucking times. 7-Eleven is releasing a new flavored seltzer, which... any. Well, let's be very clear about something. I didn't know 7-Eleven made products. I was going to say, any flavored... And like, if I got something and it was like, this is 7-Eleven branded, chances are I'm not having it, period. I'm all set. I'm not having it no matter what. <clears throat> However. The taquitos, though. Th those things are like little fucking balls of death. I like them. I do, too, but that's the problem. I also like putting on the glove. You ever do that? No. In, in, you can't just pick them up. Oh, I, I use a thing. I don't think they have. Well, the one that I went to, they didn't have them, so you just get gloves. So you put on a little glove. Damn, they trust you guys over there, huh? They're, they're like disposable. Still crazy. Trusting me with because you're taking them off of a hot thing. What like what stops you from accidentally touching like? That's a good point. Maybe maybe there was gloves and tongs. Probably. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> use the tongs. Didn't use the tongs. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, those are like it's like plastic. I will say this. I would have burnt my hand. I do want one of those hot dog rollers for the house. Hot dog rollers are cool. When I have a party, I want to fucking load that hot dog roller up and just be like, oh, do you want a hot dog? Just grab one off the roller. They've been rolling all morning. <laughs> That'd be so sick, dude. Can you just leave them on there? I think so. What? Well, they stay hot, so it's like they're just continuously cooking. Yeah, but wouldn't that make them burn? 
I mean, I like a little burnt dog. I like a little char. No, you like a big dog I, burnt. What? Take it easy. Are you like a big burnt dog? I do. I like a little char in my fucking And boy. you like burnt popcorn? I do like a little burnt popcorn. What else do you like? Just burnt. Kale. Burnt kale? Like not burnt, but like charred. You know? Don't do that with your tongue. <laughs> I don't like that. Burnt popcorn, I don't understand. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but, as I was referencing, uh, so they're releasing a new flavored seltzer. Didn't know they had any to begin with. Yeah. But this one is hot dog flavored. Hot dog flavored water seltzer. Wait. Are you sure? It's possible it was an April Fool's joke. I was just going to say, April Fool's just fucking passed. It's possible it was an April Fool's joke. But we're going to do what every classic American does and not look into it and just talk about it as if it is fact. Should I look it up? Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do that. Should I do it? Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> no. If, if they actually made... Hot dog water is fucking disgusting. Gross. There was a game show back in the day. I forgot what it was called, but it was like on MTV or one of those things. Mm -hmm. And it was like this guy on the street. He was like making people do stuff for money. And one of the things that I... I don't know why it stuck in my mind. He made this dude drink a whole thing of like hot dog water. Mm. And I remember being like, bro, not for 20 That doesn't bucks. sound good. I mean, anyone that has made... Boil like boil hot dogs in their house. They understand what fucking hot dog water looks like, and it's just it's not appealing. I, like I've never. I will say this though. I've never tasted it, so I can't confirm that it is gross. You but, can smell it though. But just the thought of it is actually making me a little nauseous right now. So I should probably stop. What the hot dog seltzer? Is it real? Oh, my uh, computer is just shitting its pants right now. Well, I maybe get a new one. On. You've had that one for quite a, quite I, a number of years. I feel like this is not that old. Hot dog seltzer pelts. What's it saying? Oh, yeah, no. It's N fake. Oh, well. All right, folks. Good to see you. We're fucking out. Dumbass. All right, whatever. Wait, what is this? 7-Eleven announces it. No word on Limp Biscuit. Did you just fart? My elbow. I thought you farted. That was going to be a <laughs> monumental moment. I've never heard Frankie fart. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Yeah, I've I'm, never heard you fart. I'm not a fucking a farter. I'm not like an audible farter. You're a human. You're a human. I know. I'm human. I'm saying like I'm not an audible farter. Well, I'll just be like, yo, bitch, font. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's funny. It's not. Oh, so all your farts are like. They're, they, they're. All of them? Yeah. You never get like a bubble in your stomach and you're like, I need to just blast this. No, they're pretty. Even when you're alone? Yeah. You accidentally fart when you poop sometimes, though. Yeah, but not like... Yeah, it's like... Champ! No. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not like... <laughs> champ? <laughs> champ? Are you kidding me? I said chip. You never... You never... But you never? I'm sure I have, but not like... It doesn't happen to the point where I can say like, oh, yeah. You've like, never forced a fart out in order to get air out of your butthole. I don't think butthole. so, no. You never have your butt filled with air? Quite the opposite. I've held them in. Oh, you can't. Oh, I've held them in. Like I've held them in, and, and in places that you just can't fart. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. like you, it feels like you have it all right here, but then it gets sucked all the way back in, and then I get a little nervous. Like, where did it go? Where did it go? Because then I, it I know it's coming back. It's coming back. It stays in there. You just don't know where it goes, though. Yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I feel like it's like in like the Looney Tune cartoons where like someone plugs their finger into like the fucking Elmer Fudd's barrel. The barrel of his shotgun, and then it fucking blows out the like the back. That's what I get worried about. Does a fart, if you hold it in long enough, become a burp? Ooh, no. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't really burp. So do me a favor for the rest of the day, don't fart and see if you burp. I'm not gonna do that. Please. No. <laughs> Why am I saying please? It feels like, yeah. You desperately need this. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> uh, no, I I I feel if I fart. What? My Farting feels good fart. to release. Get out of here. Yeah, you know? I, I, I'm not. I'm not on that that train. You also, you're one of those kids that like it's like funny, like ha ha, poop, yeah. florp. I I don't know. Maybe you've never heard a fart <laughs> because I don't know whose farts sound like that. Blank, bark, blank, blank. No. Does any woman in your life fart? Of course, they all do. But I don't. No, but like you heard them. Of course. Of course. Of course it happens. Okay. As I'm sure, like, I've, like, I'm sure farted in my sleep or something and, like... That doesn't count. Oh. Well, then I'm talking about, like, the Becca's fart... Becca's not a farter either, dude. Well, I... Well, We're not, like, at home. I know. You're married, so... <laughs> We're not, like, at home. Ruby thinks it's funny. Ruby will fart and she cracks up laughing. Do you she... hate it? No, I think it's cute because it's, it's her. It's funny. It's, what age little... until you're like, Ruby, I'm going to throw up. Six. <laughs> Honestly, she gets till six. She has a couple more years in her. 
But like, she also thinks it's funny. Like, she'll be like, hey, daddy, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, uh, and she goes, I made fart. And she'll like, and not like fart on command. And then she'll like say like she made like fart. It's like, she just thinks the word is funny too. Oh, I thought she like farted in her hand. It was like, here, take some fart. <laughs> no. I was gonna say that is <laughs> that, next level stuff. That, yeah, I mean, she would have to get spoken to. Yeah, if she did um, that. Ruby, we don't do Ruby, that. Ruby, why don't we sit down? Maybe that works for Black Daddy with the special tongue, but not me. But not this daddy. Not this okay, daddy. I am now Mad Daddy once again. <laughs> Mad Daddy. <laughs> Mad Daddy is back. Yeah. Um, but like other women in your life have farted. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard. I think I told this story. I think it was in college. It was in. Co- yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in college. I was like, kind of like on and off again dating someone and I met their parents and we were at their house and their mom accidentally farted in my face. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and I was farting in a face. Like here's the thing. I, I could be a good I sport. I would have lost it. I could be a good sport. I was a bad sport. I was visibly not the best sport when that happened. I was just like, okay. <laughs> I would have been on the ground because I am the subject of ridicule at that point in time. Like everyone's just like, yo, like did she know? Yeah. She was like, I'm so sorry. (laughs) Yeah, that would have made it worse. I would have been dying laughing. I'm so sorry. Farted in your face. Yeah, I was... (laughs) That's awesome. It wasn't like... I I wasn't like very pumped. What did she... What did the girl say? She just laughed and was embarrassed. Bro. She was like, oh my God. No one laughed their ass off? I think people laughed. Like the people... Because there were also several people there. It wasn't like it was just like... How... Recreate it. I want like length and actual volume. Don't fucking exaggerate here was it a quick one? Oh my god you're loading up your <laughs> cheeks with air it was like a flapper it was a <laughs> that's, a perfect... that's what I thought in my head that's when what... you told the story that's what I was that's thinking. what it was that's what it was oh my god yeah not a good day it's awesome. Not a good day, dude. It was a bunch of people. It was. There Why was, was that a bunch of? Oh, like a dinner? It was. Yeah, it was like it was like hang hang out, like family hangout. <laughs> it's I was awesome. So, I was not pumped. I would have lost my mind on the <laughs> yeah, ground. Yeah, well, someone, someone. I'm glad someone would have gotten the fucking. Well, you lost your mind. You probably I, went home and washed your face with like aloe. Never spoke to that girl ever again. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I always tell. I, it's funny. I tell the story because like I am well aware that I am the exception. Like I understand that people think that like. Potty humor is a lot funnier and blah, blah, blah. And they joke about it. That works for people personally, not for me, nonetheless. And it's not some for, sort of fucking double standard. It's not like I'm like talking about fat dumps and farts and burps and shit. And then I expect someone else doesn't do it. I don't do that shit either. I was in high school. There was a girl who was like her and I were like talking, you know, remember this before high school. It was like, you're talking, then you're dating. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we were talking and she was like, you know, people were like blown away. They were like, yo, Frankie, how is this girl interested in you? Which hindsight, disrespectful, but it's all right. right. And she came to me and she was just like, uh, I have to tell you something. And I was like, oh. And she was like also like on the outs with like a, a, a fucking like soon to be ex-boyfriend. So I'm wondering how this connects to farts. She goes, uh, I have to tell you something. I just don't know how to talk to you. I'm like, you could talk to me. Like, what's up? She's like, um... I can't shit. I swear to God, <laughs> I said I gotta go. I turned around and I I had I didn't speak to her again after that. Because she said she was constipated. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. she said I. Can't she shit. divulged some pretty Why personal medical that? information. I don't know, dude. I don't. I also don't know. Like it wasn't. I remember literally. I remember we were walking to Memorial Field. And she said, I can't shit. And she was just divulging personal medical information to me. And you used it against her. A hundred percent. Oh God. She was, she didn't get, she didn't even get like a goodbye. What was your reaction when she said, I can't shit? I said, I was like, I gotta go. And I just left. Why? I'm not saying it was right. It was probably very immature no, no, no. and stupid. It was me. wrong. It was let's go, <laughs> let's just go with incorrect yeah. response. I just, you know. I was done. I was. It was I over. I can't shit. It was over. I can't. It was done. Wow. Do I know this person? Uh, you. I mean, they were definitely around, so you've definitely met them. I wouldn't say you know them. I know this person backed up with poop. Uh, I don't know if they're currently backed up. I have no idea where they are in the world right now. That's I hope they're doing well and their bowels are working as they should. Right. But uh, at that moment, I'll tell you after the show. Got it. And you'll be like. What? That's good. I like that. Yeah, it was something else. 
Well, I think we can end there, Frank. Can uh, we? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Where can they find you, bud? At Alvarez885 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all other forms of social media. And then go check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. If you don't want to go to that link, go to TheBasementYard.com. Find the links. We still maybe possibly have tickets available. We added a show in Toronto. We added a show in L.A. But there's maybe tickets available in some cities or the, the Texas is, I don't know. Go check it out. That was a lot. Uh, go follow the show at the base on TikTok and Instagram and go to the for all tour tickets. Um, there may be some that just pop up randomly. So check it out all the time. If you haven't gotten a ticket and you want one, just keep looking. Maybe, uh, maybe someone is like, Oh, trying to get rid of it or, or whatever. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time.